Hello to all the Geek Enthusiasts and Nerd Aficionados, Mess5150 with Malice Cast Live Season 2, Episode 4, I believe that's the number. Uh, welcome to our new home. We are over here on Twitch doing all of our live streams. Hopefully you saw the video telling you to come over here and uh, come chat with us. So, And over here on the chat room, you can throw emojis up and stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. So uh, yes. welcome Priddeen69 to the, to the chat as well. I don't want to light this candle. I like this candle. I'm not doing it. So let's talk about who's on the cast with us today because it's a rotating cast because we have a lot of people to, to go through. Um, you have myself, Mess5150. We also have my co host, uh, Beacon. Welcome. What up? What up? What up? What up? Welcome, Twitch. We love you. We have our female persuasion, Mrs. Super Whovian Freak. Miss. What is Miss. up, everyone? I always say Mrs. I don't know why, but Mrs. I have a sexy voice. voice. It, it is. There is no misses. No misses here. <laughs> <laughs> um, back on the stream again, our epic beard, Mr. Big Papa Matt. Well, if it isn't, how y'all doing today? What's going on? How's everybody? <laughs> what up, what up, what up? And we have a new member joining us. He's come from the hollows of nerddom down in the chat room up to writer for malice-corp.com and now here on the cast masonic vader is joining us oh welcome everybody and they told me they wanted to bring some class to him and i asked them why they were asking for me so you know oh then we got to cut you off already oh yeah well, <laughs> oh, and, 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 uh, and before we go any mic. further i gotta fix my camera angle because this is horrible so let me just uh oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh there we go all right there's the camera angle wow. uh, i think you guys see that yeah <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, down, that's what we call slowly. a shameless plug right there. That is a <laughs> shameless plug. Well, it was uh, nice having you on cast. We'll uh, see you next yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's why we invited you on, because we knew the class was going to go out the window in the first five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from the bearded Chewbacca. All right. Absolutely. Um, well, that's what... You got it, number two. We, we need to know a little bit more, more about you, Masonic Vader. So as we always do when we get a new cast member on, we have them tell us what their nerd delights are and where their nerd cred comes from. So let us know who you are. T tell us a little bit about yourself. All right. Well, uh, nerd nerdum comes because of the simple fact that I was born in 75, two years before the blessed year of Star Wars. And uh, I followed them. I've been a big Star Wars fan, obviously, Superman fan, comic books as a whole. Um you know, the, uh, I, I just, I, I'm, a, I'm an ex-jock, but I also always had this going on on the side. And uh, being that I've been with, uh, I was working with you and Matt at our old company and stuff. Uh, it just, it was a nice click and everything. And uh, I, I just enjoy the 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 avenue it takes it to, uh, the different aspects and the where you could actually take yourself somewhere else for a little bit. Uh, take yourself to even if you don't like Superman, you still go to watch the movie kind of thing, just like anyone else would. Um, I'm the go. guy you want to thank for all your video games because I could start off with a uh, Atari and a uh, Commodore 64. Right, way back. I had the original Game Boy. I've had the original Nintendo with the Roby the Robot. So, oh wow, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm a gamer. <laughs> so, just not as hardcore as you guys are. So. Uh, that's what I'm hoping to bring. I'm hoping to bring a little fun to the cast. Uh, I like to write some stuff about things I like, and and I like to write it in a way where you guys will see some interest, but really go do it, go go look at it yourself versus listen to what my stuff's going to be all about. So, I'm hoping I could bring some fun and flavor and uh, some age. <laughs> age, wow! Definitely brought the age. age. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, I already uh, dated well, myself yeah. with the seventy-five. I mean, all your fans that watch Murder, She Wrote were in bed about 5 o'clock. So, uh, it's going to be good about hey, that. Hey, now, 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 just for the fun stuff, just so we could, I wanted to show this picture to get this in here. This is this is oh, wow. little Papa Matt right there. <laughs> Look at that wow. right there, huh? Yeah, little Papa Matt. Your eyes that, beard is, that beard is still sexy. That Your beard eyes look is still a little glazed there, uh, uh, big, pop, big Papa Matt. Like, like, I don't know how you can see my eyes when <laughs> I'm squinting so hard. I, I don't know how you see my eyes in that one. So. You're getting those it's probably dealing with something like that right there. I don't know what that is. That looks like dirty uh, water or something. That's apple juice. That's the, you know, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, the that's the color of water in Seattle. <laughs> Shout out to all of our uh, family and friends in uh, Bellevue, Washington. 
<laughs> speaking of Seattle, speaking of Seattle, I zombie. Hashtag, I love you, Seattle. I zombie coming soon. Um, you also got a shout out yeah. from Polyfuse, uh, Ken, that you love. You like turtles, so yeah, you're into turtles, I guess, as well. So, hey. way to leave that uh, out. It's news to me. All right, good to know. Yeah, just just awesome. so you're aware, you like them. So let's get <laughs> into the fun. Um, and so we day one, we like geeking out and nerding out on stuff in the chat room. Go and let us know what you guys have been geeking out, nerding out on over the last week since we last saw you guys. Video games, movies, books, the whole shebang. But uh, let's get right into what everybody here on the cast has been nerding out on. Beacon. Yeah. What you been? What, what you been up to? Um, I've been recording this amazing, amazing new podcast with the Big Papa Matt. It's called The Quest for One Hundred where Matt and I are trying to watch a hundred movies in theater here in 2018. We recorded our first episode last week. It just launched onto iTunes and Stitcher yesterday. You guys will see a little sneak peek video of it uh, this weekend. And yeah, so I've been watching a ton of movies. I'm up to eight movies so far this year. Um, yeah. Tons nice. of movies. <laughs> That's what you got to uh, do to get to hit those hundred, the hundred movies. How about you, uh, B, uh, Big Papa Matt? Uh, yeah, the the Quest for 100 has been was a phenomenal first episode. Um, due to my lack of skills behind a keyboard, I guess <laughs> I, I I play games. I don't really do much around them. Uh, it will be mostly audio that first cast, no video. So <laughs> just be aware of that. Um, but the big one uh, that's been going on here is Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter, uh, Monster Hunter World drops for all consoles. It's gonna be up for the PC in a little bit later this year. <laughs> Um, if you have not checked it out, if you have not seen trailers for this, go check it out. Go buy it right now. Uh, first time in a long time, this game has absolutely knocked out of the park. It's been a long-running series since back in PlayStation 2 days, uh, and they killed it. I mean, it's getting perfect scores all over the internet, and uh, yeah, I can't get enough of it. It's phenomenal. There's nothing like going and uh, like being in Jurassic Park with swords and katanas. So yeah, I'm into that. Let's get. Let's Isn't go that kind of what that. what what? Uh, Jack does on our on our Malice cast all the time with Ark with the being in Jurassic Park with swords. Well, he gets eaten all the time. That's what he does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's different. I run away. I run away and scream. But I just tuck my skirt up and run. Is, is what I do a lot. Of. <laughs> I, I bail <laughs> out. <laughs> I get uh, out of there. And welcome, Electric Maestro, to the chat room. Uh, welcome, welcome. Let us know what you've been geeking out on, Electric. Um, I do have to say one thing. Uh, someone put in there and said that picture I showed of us said it looked like Kevin Smith being hugged by Louis C.K. thought that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Uh, that's a pretty good one. Yeah. Well played, yeah. chat room. Well played. You're on well, your own. <laughs> you guys are not disappointing. Way to go, uh, Jack. Uh, that, was, that was Mr. Malice himself producing the show, by the way. So a big shout out to Jack Malice producing, producing and showing us love. So, and he says, if you guys want to stick around too, uh, that they have a quest for 100 teaser that they can run after the cast. Oh, yeah. Want to watch. That. That's Is that the Red Band version? <laughs> no. <laughs> the Red Band version had all these great pictures popping up on a full cast, but uh, these two were like, your work's not good enough. Cut no, it, it wasn't. It wasn't your work. No, trust me. Your work was the only thing making that salvageable. Make it work. Make it worth watching. That's all it did. Two uh, days. I will have I to say, we, we, we will have a T-shirt coming out because you had a phenomenal T-shirt idea uh, that no one quests. You know, our friends don't let quest. Our friends, friends, don't, friends don't let friends, friends quest, quest alone. alone. Yeah. Yes, nice. that was phrasing Very from uh, Beacon, and I was like, "That's a magnificent." Shirt title. <laughs> Nerds everywhere, you are welcome. Friends do not let friends quest alone. And if yes. you guys want that shirt, let us know in the chat and we will see what we can do to start getting uh some type of thing made. I think I we got two fires here. Three. You got three. Yeah. I'll okay. put my hat in on that one. Yeah. You got four. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I, I already got I'm already in on it, so <laughs> uh new to the chat, uh Masonic Vader, what have you been geeking out on? Uh, there's a couple things. Uh, first, I want to throw my hat. If you need an extra person for that quest for the hundred, uh, I would love to throw myself in on that. So, see what happens. 
All right, we'll see how you do here. This will be your trial run. Uh, we'll, okay. we'll, we'll see how um, poorly it's, you finish this night. It's not looking <laughs> oh, so good. With the we, we really, we're really not trying to add any more talent to the show. We're really, we're really trying to make ourselves look better. So, well, first so, of all, you have to have talent. So <laughs> exactly, <that's laughs> exactly, hundred, one hundred percent. So, <laughs> so I'm geeking out a couple things now. I'm a little behind on, you know, I, I'm on the Arrowverse and uh, and yeah. uh, but I've really kind of took gone away from that for a little bit i'm trying to go toward uh, uh agents of shield i'm really digging this season with the space and the uh mm-hmm. the alternative stuff which is nice uh i'm a couple of se- episodes behind so don't 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 mess it up for me uh i'm also geeking out about the uh the soon to be drop trailer that's going to be happening tomorrow for the uh han solo movie monday po- po- monday supposedly po- oh, monday excuse me man I, apparently i've had too many waters earlier <laughs> Um, those those dirty yeah. waters from Seattle. Yeah, yeah, yeah dirty I'll waters from Seattle. Absolutely, <laughs> they get you quick. And it'll be absolutely. interesting. Yeah, and I'm ge- go ahead. I was about to say I'm geeking out just being on this man. I'm, it's it's a little different where I'm typing on my little phone now. I'm talking to people trying to crack jokes, so it's a little <laughs> little some pressure there, you know. <laughs> it's all about community and and making a fool of yourself, which we do very easily. So. Absolutely. <laughs> um, speaking of the Han Solo trailer. Uh, it, it's still speculation that it's going to drop by Monday or on the Super Bowl, um, but it's, it, it's speculation because they're changing the name of the title in Japan oh because God. I guess Star Wars isn't well known out there. So there, it's like, yeah, no uh, one knows Star Wars in Japan. Gone in sixty parsecs. They're taking well, they're taking out the Star Wars <laughs> portion of the title, and it's like Master Solo or something like that is what the, is what the actual name is going to be. Which is like, okay, this is interesting. Wow, um, you can go so many ways with oh that. Oh man, there, there, you <laughs> rearrange a couple words in there, and man, it's, uh, it's going to get close. Uh, all all <laughs> we have to ask, right, though, is that as long as they're not on the uh, George R.R. R. Martin t- timer for the uh, the trailers coming, the trailers coming, the trailers coming. So yeah, I will say, I, re- timer, I did. It's all good. I did later. read though. I did see. I did read that they confirmed that it is dropping Monday. They did confirm it. Okay. They yeah, did. I dealt. I did see the confirmation for Monday. Okay. Good. Um, yeah, because there's people asking, like, what the heck's going on with it? And yeah, Collider confirmed it as well here, too. So that it'll be dropping. Very interesting here. It's, uh, and some of the stuff I've been reading on sounds really interesting to uh, see the possible trans- uh, transaction of how Han Solo got the Falcon uh, and even potentially seeing the, uh, ke- uh, the, the Kessel Run. Well, and, let's ask well, you. Parsex. Since you're new, we'll, we'll throw you under the bus and, and see how, Go how good you can get on this. What is going to be in the trailer? How, how is how are they? Gonna, what are they going to show us? What do you think? Nothing. We'll see how right think, you are next week. <laughs> I think the trailers. I mean, uh, from what they've been doing with the last star, uh, couple Star Wars movies and stuff, I think they're going to do enough to where they're going to get the interest going. Because right now, the interest is mixed because you start off with your two directors that did the Lego movie, and they get shoved out halfway in between, and they bring in uh, Ron Howard. And I actually, I actually thought that was a good idea. Only because of the fact I think Ron Howard's already proven himself as a as a director. Uh, he has gl- great ties with George Lucas, and uh, I think he's going to bring what we want out of the Han Solo movie, which is going to be more of the uh, the character I se- itself. It's just not going to be like a shoot it around and kind of like make something happen. I think they're going to try. I think they may come close to pulling off a Rogue One where they could uh, give it some flavor and really give a lot of the behind the scenes. Uh, as far as what they're talking about, like Lando's relationship, how the Falcon came to be, what about Chewbacca and stuff. Um, for the trailer itself, I think they're really just going to keep it simple. They'll probably show a couple uh, shots of the Falcon. They might even sit there and give you the little tease that they might be doing the Kessel Run. Obviously, just a quick snapshot of the characters, like you know Lando and whatnot, just to just to get your your peek. Because right now the interest is is there. But it's like one of those ones where people keep saying, well, we didn't want Han Solo. We want Yoda or we want Darth Vader or we want something else. So I think they're going to give us enough to where they're going to brush that other stuff off and get people really focused on it. Yeah. And then uh, Electric Maestro in the, the chat is talking about the same thing. Uh, really excited. You know, Ron Howard, big movies. Uh, he's directed, you know, Apollo 13. One of my favorites, obviously, Willow as well. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I mean, those are good hands, right? I, I have to agree with you. Ron Howard is good hands for Han Solo to build those characters. And we'll see. Uh, I, I hope it's nothing big. I, I hope it's nothing more than 25 seconds. I, I think anything more than that, I, I don't want, personally. It'll, it'll probably be. Two minutes, but it's going to be two minutes of literal just 
nothing. It's not going to give you <laughs> talking. A, and I don't mean that in a bad way. It's going to be substance of to the point of, oh my God, I want to see that because now I need to know why they got that. But it's not going to be like the whole movie in one trailer, like some. No, it's Disney. Disney's not doing yeah. that with Star Wars anymore. Well, they're, they're trying to. Exactly. I think to, I think one of the things to think about though with that Han Solo movies, we're not. It appears like we're not going to learn anything new about the character. We're just going to see the events happen that we've already heard of, which Meeting I'm fine with. Solo, you know, getting the Millennium Falcon, maybe doing the Kessel Run, which is awesome. Don't get me wrong; it's like totally, totally awesome. But we're just going to be told a story that we already know what happens. And I'm, dig- like I'm digging the cast that they have. For That's it. Cool. I mean, when you look at the oh, cast, yeah. they've got Absolutely. a they've got a solid cast. I like how they casted Han Solo. He's he's somebody who's done some movies, but he's not like a big name. Uh, you have some big names in there, but they're not going to be main characters. They're just right. going to be filling it in. I mean, they're they're literally doing the same kind of concept they did with the original movies, to where they want the lead actors to be people like Don- Donald Glover. People know, but he hasn't gone out and done like like oh my god, he's a megastar. Right. So you got Woody right. Harrelson as a megastar. Mm-hmm. You got uh, Paul Bettany as a megastar. So, so real quick, so, so Donald Glover, what's his uh, casting? His credits going to say is he going to say Childish Gambino or Donald Glover as uh, you know? What's I don't get Donald when Glover. when do we call him what? I don't I don't never I never get that. So whenever he's doing singing, it's Childish Gambino, <laughs> and anything like, else, Donald Glover. Like the Rock and yeah, it's like the Rock and wrestling. Is that what it is? Okay, yeah. got it. Yeah. So uh, we'll see. I don't know. I, I have to agree with you on that. That there are some phenomenal, phenomenal names tied to it. I just hope that they keep killing people off like they did in Rogue One. Uh, I hope Woody Harrelson or somebody gets the chat. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the <laughs> we we did write about the Han Solo film. It, it's a little bit older of an article, but we wrote about when Ron Howard took over and thoughts on it and stuff like that. So over at malice-corp.com, that's the website that we represent. That's where we all go and write up art- articles for you guys to geek out at, on when we're not live streaming. So if you want to see the stuff that we're writing about, definitely head over to malice-corp.com. Check out what's going on there. And you can still leave comments and we respond to them even on the articles that are a year old. So um, we like to keep that conversation going. Super, what have you been geeking out on? Uh, I've been catching up on a lot of stuff. Like, you know, um, Vader mentioned uh, catching up on the Arrowverse the flash i'm actually super excited not with arrow sorry but with the flash they teased a hint that they're going to do something with the symbols that barry was doodling at the beginning of the episode they have a character that's brought in that was drawing the same symbols. so very excited to see what they do with that the rest of it was crap but that's okay excited about that Uh, I just caught up on how to get away with murder. I can't figure out why I love this show so much. Everyone is horrible. Everyone is a terrible representation of humanity. And yet you can't stop watching that show. It is an addiction. I literally just want to pop popcorn and just sit down and watch it to see notes. how these horrible people to see how these horrible people evade the punishment that they so rightly deserve. And you're rooting for them. You're not even just like oh, are they going to get out of it because it's kind of interesting? No, you're like actively rooting for them to break the law, evade arrest, and and screw over innocent people. It's horrible. I don't know why I like it. <laughs> She's seriously taking notes on that whole show. You know she is. It is. <laughs> it is. We're, we're never doing a group conversation. We're never going to be in the same room if she's there. That's all I'm going to say, man. Lights are going to go out. You're going to find a pipe and a gun, and it's a uh, you know, world fair there. There you go. We're, we're getting some great comments about the uh, everything Han in the chat room. Uh, Marley, I kind of don't want to see the Kessel Run. It's almost this my- my- mystical thing like Calvin and Hobbes and the Noodle Incident. Uh, Jack <laughs> says that... that they need to see the castle run. Uh, Electric Maestro brought up, will Phil Lord and Christopher Miller still be credited in this mm. film? Good um, and uh, Sonomaku, who's here on the chat, uh, said, I hope that they treat the castle run like JJ treated Kirk and the Kobayashi. Um, so thoughts on that, guys. Do you I want to think- give a shout out to Polly Fuse, though. I like her. I like the comment of saying there that he's uh, that they based uh, Han Solo off the Fonz. Off the Fonz. <laughs> hey. <laughs> If, if, there's, if there's not a jukebox or some sort of <laughs> uh, Ron Howard will have disappointed me for sure. Yes. 
do you think that Phil Lord and Christopher Miller will get any credit? From what I've heard, Ron Howard reworked everything. Like he kind of threw everything out. I heard it was a complete rework from once Howard stepped in. So I don't know why they would. Um, But we'll see. I mean, maybe, I mean, the most I see that they should get is probably maybe a special thanks. Yeah, yeah, maybe just at the end credits, but they're not gonna. It's not gonna be like a banner at the beginning, like thanks to these people that we kicked off because you really suck. But we're gonna thank you anyways. I don't. I don't they know actually, that they kicked off because they really sucked. I think they, they no, they don't. But they have the opportunity to get Ron Howard and yeah. It, well, it, no, they got kicked off because they were having they were having issues with Kathleen Kennedy. The direction of the movie wasn't, and I think it was a uh, oh, gosh, his name's. Uh, uh, escaping me right now, the director, the or the writer uh, who wrote Empire Strikes Back and everything, Carl, uh, I can't think of his last name, starts with L. But they were having lots of issues with the uh, writing and the, the direction of the of the movie, and they felt like it was, it all, I guess the way it almost sounded like it was, it's going to be a Lego movie in a sense, and that's Han Solo. I mean, there's so much stuff about Han Solo. He shot first. He's the cool guy. He's the the lady killer and stuff like that. There's everything Lawrence cool Kasten. about him. Is that who that is? Yeah, Lawrence Rutten. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Thank you. That nice they, it just like, made, her... like they were going to make it a kid movie, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Jack's, Jack's going off in the chat room. No, no, the reason the Kessel Run is given in a distance is because it's all about how short you can do it because your ship is so fast you can cut it short and buzz right past all the black holes because the Kessel system is supposed to be a chain of black holes that are closing in on each other. Hmm. So, um, yeah, I... We'll I'm. See. We'll see if they if they show it or not. I you know, and uh, yeah. <laughs> well, and here's the thing. Here's the cool thing about these these Star Wars stories is they get to go and have some fun and take some chances with these, and and that's the cool part about them. I mean, I think that's why. I mean, universally, Rogue One seems to be loved so much is because it was able to take some chances, do some fun things, but still stay in a in a world and a story that everybody kind of knew the mm-hmm. history around so i think this will be kind of the same thing we know the lore we know the story of han solo but we haven't been able to see some of it right and yeah. i don't know i hope we get some cool stuff and some new stuff but at the same time um as long as they give nods to a lot of those things i would be completely fine with it if they didn't show any of it personally as long as they gave some nods i think I-, I think the thing that makes uh rogue one so good is that it it makes new hope better Absolutely, you can believe that it makes New Hope better. So I think the hope is that the Han Solo movie makes the original trilogy and even you know um, seven and eight make them better as well. In that our understanding of who Han Solo is and his you know that character. So that's my hope for it. As long as they don't do like a dream se- sequence with him and Guido, like on who shot first, I'll be okay with that. They don't Dallas. They don't Dallas <laughs> that one. You mean Guido, not the not the Italian uh, restaurant. Guido, Guido, <laughs> Guido. You know. Guido's kind of a Guido, but it's yeah. the blue guy who died. Yeah, he's green. Well, like, yeah. <laughs> he was blue in the year. Can't get his name <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, my TV obviously was pretty bad because the first Look, time I saw it, he was blue. Rodians matter. <laughs> Did you, have a black, did you have a black and white TV with a little green on the bottom and blue on yeah. top? Yeah. You know, it was, it was hard to see through all the tracking on that old TV you're like banging on. You know, that VHS is like burned out. So, Big Papa Matt hasn't watched uh, watched it since having the TVs where you had the little scroller at the bottom to get the color right. Yeah, man, that, that tracking dude was rough. You had to get that knob right there. You had to get the pliers because the knob had been lost for so long. You're just like uh. <laughs> aging. Um, yeah, so. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Make sure to hit that top video to continue the cast. If you'd like to welcome a Sonic Vader or let us know your Han Solo trailer thoughts, leave a comment below.